What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets with Rob. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Before I get started talking about the Mets top 10 prospects list of 2021, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my videos, want to see more content, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So for the next couple of videos, I will be doing the Mets top 10 prospect list of 2021. Now, when it comes to the top one through seven in the on the Mets prospect list, it's pretty obvious who those guys are and who those kids are. But depending on where you rank them is where everyone has a difference of opinion. When it comes to other writers on SNY, ESPN, MLB.com, everywhere. So this list is basically my list of the Mets prospect list of where they rank in the Mets top 10. And with this video, we're going to go through two of the top 10 players in the Mets prospect list. And we're going to start from 10 and nine. And with the first guy on the list for the New York Mets, Top 10 prospect list at number 10 is Junior Santos. This kid has an arm. He is a beast. And when the Mets signed him, and the Mets did sign him to a minor league deal contract uh, and signed him to the Dominican Summer League, Mets won in June of 2018. And not too long after that, he was uh, assigned to the Gulf Coast League. And in 2019, he was assigned to rookie ball at Kingsport. And that's where uh, his stats started to develop over those two years. And we have a little bit of information and stats from him that we will look at shortly. And as of February of 2021, he was assigned to the Mets organization. So this kid, Junior Santos, is six foot eight and a big, big kid. And when it comes to a big kid and a big pitcher like this, a right-handed pitcher of this size, you see it a lot in Major League Baseball. They have a hard time with command because they can't repeat their mechanics. And that's a big thing you see. You even see it with a couple of the Mets. You've seen it with Chris Young. You've seen it with Mike Pelfrey. Tall, big guys that are 6'5 and taller are usually take some time to develop their mechanics and be able to repeat it every start, every pitch, every inning. That's the biggest issue that Junior Santos is having at the current moment. But he has electric stuff. He has a 100 miles per hour fastball. He has a wicked slider. And his changeup has some work to do, but can be devastating, especially when he put along, when he come along with it, when it comes to his fastball. So Junior Santos is, a, to me, is the number 10 prospect on the Mets prospect list of 2021. A lot of uh, writers and analysts and sports guys, SNY, ESPN, MLB.com, etc., they all have their difference of opinions when it comes to the top 7 through 10 in the Mets prospect list. For me, Junior Santos is at number 10. And when we look at Junior Santos' stats over the last two years, when it comes to the Dominican Summer League and Kingsport League, in the Dominican Summer League, he only he pitched, uh, he, he played in 11 games. Pitched in 11 games, he had a 2.8 ERA at the age of 16 years old. So just think of that for a second. At 16 years old in the Dominican Summer League, in Mets 1 Dominican Summer League, he had a 2.8 ERA. In 11 games, he had a one and one record. He pitched 45 innings, gave up 35 hits, 15 runs, 14 home runs, one home run. Just to get that for one second, as a 16 year old. Now, I know there's a lot of young kids in the Dominican Summer League Mets won, but he was 16 years old, only gave up one home run in 11 games and started 10 of them, had six walks and 36 strikeouts in 11 games. That is stuff that you don't see every day 
from a young pitcher, especially 16 years old. And Junior Santos was able to show that at a very young age in a Dominican summer league. Now, when he finally got the rookie ball the following year at Kingsport, he struggled. He was 0-5 with a 5.09 ERA in 14 games started with 48 innings pitch, 46 hits, 29 runs, 23 earned runs, 4 home runs, 25 walks. The walks were high and 36 strikeouts. So his strikeouts stayed the same. So he was striking out guys at the same rate he was in a Dominican Summer League, but he struggled. Now, what does that tell you when he struggled? Well, it tells you a little bit. He's in professional ball now. Guys are expected to be better, especially when it comes to hitters. They are expected to be better. So he faced guys that are probably a little older than him, 18, 19, 20 years old, in rookie ball. And again, with his big size at 6'8", his mechanics became a big issue at Kingsport. When you don't repeat your mechanics, your fastball, your arm doesn't release the ball at the same uh, area at the same time where you're supposed to release the ball. That's the biggest issue that he was having. His fastball was up. His changeup wasn't what is supposed to be. His slider wasn't wicked and breaking at the, at the, the late movement that he showed in the Dominican uh, Summer League. And when the Mets signed him at a young age, The problem with him is going to be if he can repeat his mechanics, he can be a devastating top two pitcher in a rotation. And hopefully we can see him in the coming years as his estimated time of arrival to make the big leagues is 2024. So Junior Santos is number 10 on the Mets prospect list of 2021. Now, when it comes to the Number nine top prospect in the Mets list. I'm going with Robert Dominguez. Now, Robert Dominguez was assigned as an international free agent in 2019. What does that mean when a player is signed at in the year of 2019? And late in 2019, he was signed as an international free agent in November of 2019. Now, with the pandemic of 2020, a lot of these guys weren't able to play in rookie ball or the Dominican summer league, stuff like that, because they had a hard time with the pandemic playing minor league games, playing games across the country, across the world was a hard time. So these kids couldn't develop. And unfortunately for Robert Dominguez, he could not actually play for the Mets in the manner that they wanted him to in 2020 because of the pandemic. Now, Robert Dominguez is 6'5", 195, another big right-handed arm that the Mets seem like they love when it comes to guys that they can pick up on the international free agent. Big, strong, powerful arms. He can throw 99 miles an hour. He is 19 years old. And the reason why I put him um, above Junior Santos is because I think that Because he's a little shorter and a little smaller than Junior Santos, his mechanics can be a lot more better and a lot more easier to repeat. And Robert Dominguez can be that guy. His estimated time of arrival is also in 2024. So the Mets have in the next three years pitchers that can come up in three years if they develop the way the Mets think they can develop can be a big part of this rotation in 2024. And this is a bold statement and a bold way of throwing Robert Dominguez in this top 10 Mets prospect list is because I think that the Mets signed him in 2019 and believed that he was the best arm available in the international free agent market. And they think they got that guy. And that is Robert Dominguez. Now, Robert Dominguez, his changeup is non-existent. He can throw it, but it's not very good. So I have a feeling that he might just squash that changeup and might go with maybe a curveball or a slider, depending on how he how he develops and what he has a feel for. So he he has thrown the changeup, but it doesn't look like he is developing that changeup well. But again, he is very young. He is at 19 years old. 
He hasn't really started in the Mets system as of yet because of the pandemic and when he was signed as an international free agent late in 2019. So Robert Dominguez is a guy that can potentially be a two-pitch power pitcher. And when it comes with that, it probably means fastball slider. And I don't think he's going to develop a curveball, but when he's a power pitcher, the slider can work just as well. We've seen it with other pitchers. We've seen it with Jacob DeGrom. We've seen it with Noah Syndergaard. we even seen it with Matt Harvey. Power pitches like to throw that hard, tight, late break slider. And that's what I believe that Robert Dominguez can be as a two-pitch power pitcher, throwing 98 to 100 with his fastball and having a devastating late break slider that can be a few mile hours, few mile, miles per hour less than his fastball between like 92 to 95, which you see with a lot of guys like Jacob DeGrom, Syndergaard, and Matt Harvey, when they have that late hard movement of that slider, it's devastating. And it's hard to pick up when it's a fastball or it's a slider. And when the batter realizes it, it's too late. Either the fastball is by him or the late break fools the batter. And that's what I think Robert Dominguez is, is a two-pitch power pitcher. And that's what I believe Robert Dominguez will be if he develops well in the Mets system. And with the estimate of arrival of 2024, Junior Santos and Robert Dominguez can be a big part of this Mets rotation in the next three years. And when it comes to the anticipation of what the Mets will do with Syndergaard and Stroman over, over this year, when it comes to signing them to contracts as free agents, it is a big deal when it comes to what will the Mets do with their rotation if somehow Noah Syndergaard is not a Met and the Mets don't extend them, and if Stroman goes elsewhere after the 2021 season. So these were the two guys ranked number 9 and 10 in the Mets' top 10 prospect list based on my opinion and my sources and what I've looked at when it comes to guys that I believe that can be worthy of this Mets' top 10 list. There was a lot of, a lot of scrutiny when it came to – a lot of different reporters and analysts who come up with their own list of guys in their Mets top 10 prospect list. And there is a lot of change with between nine and 10 when you want to put the guys in the list and put them in at nine and 10. I decided to choose Junior Santos and Robert Dominguez. That is my first two guys in the Mets top prospect list of 2021. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, want to see more videos, want to get notifications when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button. Look out for the next couple of videos with the Mets top 10 prospect list of 2021. We're going to go eight, we're going to go to 10 through one. So far, Junior Santos and Robert Dominguez is number 9 and 10. Look out for the next couple of videos for 8 through 7, 6 through 5, 4 to 3, and the big guys 2 through 1. I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, let's go Mets.